Welcome to Career Bites. My name is Amelia Sullivan and I'm here with Dr. Joyce Winterton at the NASA Headquarters Office of Education in Washington, D.C. Thank you for sitting down with us today. Could You're you please welcome. tell us a little bit about your position? I'm the Assistant Administrator for Education for NASA here at our NASA Headquarters in Washington, D.C. I oversee education for all of the agency and that includes our four mission directorates and our ten centers across the country. Great. Uh, would you please tell us a little bit about your background and how your past experiences have led to this position? I actually started out as a high school teacher in consumer and family science Great. and then was a teacher educator at the university level. Worked for the U.S. Senate, the U.S. Department of Education, started my own consulting company, worked for National FFA Student Organization, did education for uh, USA Today, K-12 through in higher education, and then came to NASA. So it's all education um, and I think it's been an exciting career. I think. Uh, an opportunity that I didn't realize um, would come is here at NASA and I think that's one thing I'd like students to know is always do a really good job wherever you are because you never know what doors might open. Yeah really especially just in that field alone. Exactly. Um, was there any person in, per in particular um, that you would consider to be significant in um, making your decision to pick this position? Yeah. Well, actually, I think um, a lot started with my parents because, um, as I've heard others say, it's important that your parents just have an expectation that you're going to go on to higher education, whether that's an AA degree or BS or, or further. And I think they forgot to tell me what I couldn't do. Yeah. So having that sense that if you work hard, there are opportunities for you. And actually, I think uh, Krista McAuliffe and Sally Ride, because they were women I admired who were... Um, cutting edge in the whole aerospace and exploration for women. So although I wasn't a teacher in space, I am a teacher at NASA. Yeah. And was there any particular moment where you just said, that's what I want to do, work with NASA? Um, actually, when I was at the U.S. Department of Education and was leaving the federal government to go into the private sector, uh, th there was this thought that if I ever worked for the federal agency again, I would love to work for NASA. Mm -hmm. So I think, again, that's another good point. Uh, plant a seed, and you never know when it might grow and flourish. Yeah, that's great. Um, we hear a lot about STEM education in the news today. Could you please explain to us um, what it is and why we hear about it so much? Yeah. Well, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the reason it's important is because a lot of careers and employment opportunity require that type of background. Um, at NASA, we employ a large number of engineers and scientists, not only directly with NASA, but as contractors. And the other part that I think is very critical to students need to know is it contributes to the economy. Most of the careers that involve STEM add and improve our economic well-being as a country. And that's very important for our lifestyle, for our children's lifestyles, and for um, growing and being competitive internationally. Great. Um, as an educator, what do you think would encourage students to go into a field like STEM education? Well, I think one thing is to know more about what those careers are, to understand the breadth, um, and including education. I mean, if we don't have teachers who are competent in teaching science, and mathematics and who understand career opportunities and engineer and the, the value of technology, we won't have students in yeah. those areas. So part of it is understanding the breadth of career opportunities um, and knowing what an engineer does. Uh, we've had some students from Virginia Tech, uh, some of our graduate students from MIT and Stanford work with us and they are so excited when they look at career opportunities at NASA. But we need to have role models. Uh, young scientists and engineers who can talk to students and say, what do I do on the job? and what are these opportunities for you and, and why it's worth working hard in school. Yeah, definitely. What advice do you have for students today who are considering um, going into this field? Well, one is to really apply yourself, uh, to work hard, uh, to have that mentality that I can do science, I can do math, um, I may have to work a little bit harder than some of my peers, mm -hmm. but it's achievable and that uh, not set your goals low. Uh, we need students who are thinking about PhDs in science and engineering and really think about pushing the envelope. Um, we need those innovators and creative people that started the aerospace and uh, help us go back to the moon and on to Mars and um, help us look at this world through a lot of what we do with our science. So working hard, thinking you can do it, and then setting your goals high. 
but I think also a risk taker. Um, I would never have planned the career I have, but part of it is seeing an opportunity and being a cautious risk taker and saying, yeah. hmm, I think I can do that, and yeah. you figure out how to do it. Not really doubting yourself before you even jump yeah. in. Yes, and absolutely uh, important is working in a team. You don't know ha have to know all the answers, but you do need to learn how to work with a self-directed team because that's pretty much true in every work site I've been to. Yeah. Um, how do you think interviews with professionals like this um, um, would be useful for a classroom for a full of kids who really don't know what, what career path they would like to take? Well, I think, again, it helps students understand what that career is like and why they might be interested in it. Um, I was a high school teacher, and I didn't have a large breadth of experience outside yeah. of education, so it brings in that level of expertise into the classroom. And, and my attitude is there's no such thing as a dumb question, maybe a dumb answer, but it gives students a chance to ask questions. You know, what's the lifestyle? What's, what's the salary? That is important. Yeah. Uh, what are the challenges and opportunities? So I think, and, and again, it's important to show um, a diverse group within the workforce because that's what we need here at NASA and other places. So role models are really important, I think. And there's a lot of jobs that kids don't even hear about and that they, exactly. you know, n don't even realize that they could get into. Yeah. And a lot of students, the jobs aren't there yet. So they can help create new jobs and be entrepreneurs as well. Um, what would you say to a young person about the importance of learning um, and exploring potential careers? just at a young age, you know, looking into mm -hmm. what they want to do in the future? Well, I think if you have a sense of direction, um, a reason you're working hard in school and having a sense why I need to learn it, it, it makes it easier, it's more motivating them. I've heard a number of people say that that's the benefit of NASA, we show students a reason to work hard. And so I think helping them see what their goals might be. Now, it could change, or, you know, I hear young people who said, I wanted to be an astrophysicist when I was very young because I had a telescope or, you know, something that motivated them. So um, a reason to work hard and uh, set their goals high. Thank yeah. you for sitting down with us today. It was great talking to you. Join us next time on Career Bite. Thank you.